Catus Maximus here. This time, another video about Tecton 12 point impact sockets. I know I just did a video about the short wells, but I decided to pick up the deep wells because they were also, at least on, these things were amazingly priced. They were $30 a set. And uh, to tell you the truth, the whole point of this video is just to talk about how they are a deep brooch, where a lot of people don't like deep broaching. Some people do like deep broaching. Uh, the second thing is to say that they are in plastic cases. Plastic is destroying the planet. And steel, like steel socket rails, heck of a lot more recyclable than plastic. So, generally speaking, I'm going to start commenting about manufacturers actually, you know, not by default including these big old plastic cases, uh, just because of how much damage they cause the environment. Plastic wrapping, too. When, with a steel socket rail, then you have more recyclable cardboard packaging and recyclable steel sockets and steel rails. Real quick, people have talked about how the newest ones, where the ones that I've been getting, this set and these, don't have roll stamping. They do have added roll stamping, such as the Sunex, which are both laser etched and roll stamped. So at least they've updated that. And so to see how old mine are, copyright 2013. So that seems to be the deal. They're actually interestingly taped on one side, but not the other. Tech 10 does have a decent warranty. That has definitely been pretty well established. <clears throat> although I haven't personally used it, although I am thinking about doing that pretty soon here. So here's our two cases. We got a 13 piece metric set. That would be this one here, seven through 19 millimeter. I should also, like for the amount of tools that I have, I put everything on socket rails because they take up less space. Anyway, they are 12 point chrome vanadium impact sockets. 12 points work just fine in most situations unless you have rusty bolts or maybe high torque bolts. So not only do they allow you to work on 12 point fasteners, which show up here and there, uh, on diesel engines, a lot of times with like rod bolts, you know, internal engine fasteners, that type of thing where you just want a lot of con points of contact. But in most situations, they'll work just fine using with six points, even though you have smaller uh, contacts because you're just not at the limit. So you would want to use a six point if you have, once again, rusty bolts, really jammed bolts, that type of thing. This is a 19 millimeter on a three quarter inch bolt, and it is pretty tight. As far as the broaching, it I would say is about halfway down, so they do call it a deep brooch. Uh, here, they have it on the box, uh, extra deep brooch, but really it's not that super deep. Let me get a flashlight. Okay, so we just saw in the box for deep brooch. What I have is some Craftsman G1 series. These are some of the last of the American made ones, I believe. The Tectons advertise deep brooch and we can clearly see that the Craftsman's much deeper. As a matter of fact, if we put this bolt in, six in that far in this socket, actually I should do it this way. So this far in the Craftsman, only that far in the Tecton. So the Tecton, uh, it's about three eighths of an inch, maybe six millimeters, you know, between five, maybe five sixteen. So excuse me, that would be eight millimeters of difference. So the Craftsman's are actually eight millimeters deeper fluting than the supposedly deep fluted Tecton. So they could go deeper if you're going to advertise as deep flute sockets and some people are for the people who are specifically looking for deep flute sockets. They should probably be really deeply fluted. That's all I'm saying. And the Craftsman isn't even fluted all the way. There's still some drill area down at the bottom. Shallow fluting would be something like this. This is an old uh, snap on where the fluting only goes in just a little bit. Even though it's a deep well, the fluting is just like a short well. And so those are for situations where you may have a fastener uh, that's short, so you want it to stay near the end of the socket. Maybe you're working with a nut or something like that. A lot of people like those as well. Anyway, not bad sets. They were just unbelievably priced. They are chrome vanadium sets. I do like that the fractional set does go from 5 16ths all the way up through 1 inch, so it is a nice complete set and they are indeed pretty thin wall if we compare this 12 point impact compared to these snap on snap on just a little bit thinner but uh, almost the same thickness and so as i said in previous videos you can use chrome vanadium 
there's more than one grade of chrome vanadium. There's a few dozen grades of steel that are chrome vanadium steels. And also half the strength of steels is their heat treatment. And so um, I've personally had good luck with chrome vanadium impact sockets. Chrome molybdenum, uh, molybdenum, I believe, is a little bit cheaper is and is also is less prone to cracking. And I probably should compare to the Sunex for the wall thickness because the Sunex are chrome molybdenums. And they're just about the same size. The Sunex is just a hair th thicker. So I believe de deep wells are generally thicker than uh, short wells in some situations. Actually, I should compare to Tecton's own one-inch short well to see if it is the same thickness. They are, so I believe these deep wells are actually, or maybe it varies, because when I was comparing earlier, especially on the metrics here with the Tectons short wells, they have really thin walls. It was pretty surprising. They were much thinner than, say, uh, the Sunex ones, and we can just show that right here. Pretty obvious. Anyway, let me clean this up. We got them on this trip. I forgot to mention the short well video. At least with the laser etching, they aligned them so you can get them all facing outwards. So here's the whole point of the video is uh, I like to try to get the best, uh, at least good value. And I think these are the Sunex and the Tectons are. Anyway, for all this, 75 pieces of short, mid, and deep well 12 point impact sockets, 3 8 inch drive, $175, including the hazard front socket rails. And piecing that together, that's a pretty good deal. Really, even I'm pretty surprised that uh, the tools have been that competitive price priced because 70, once again, 75 12-point sockets, I mean, holy smokes. That's pretty good for 175 bucks. I mean, you can imagine. Something like this would probably be, <laughs> God knows how much for uh, tool truck brands, but it's... For a tool, is somebody like me who likes to increase the variety of their tools. I also like, of course, having high quality tools, tool truck tools and that type of stuff. But, you know, the cost, uh, you know, $175 gets you, you know, off the Mack truck. Gets you a, a half inch long handle flex head ratchet um, versus, you know, this is mountain of sockets that really com completes a set. Or helps complete a set. And that's part of the deal with this channel is it's a, you know, tool collecting channel. And part of that is because there's just a ridiculous variety of tools. And then these aren't full master sets. These metric sets only go to 19 millimeter. And so, I, you know, then you get all this. And if you really want to complete them, then you start uh, hunting down individual sockets to expand the sets. Really, you could spend a whole lifetime uh <laughs> collecting tools believe me i know and many of my viewers know too but once again 175 bucks this is pretty impressive i mean the weight of all these sockets kind of want to feel that these i need to get better socket rails because these aren't oh, hanging on too great with those heavy deep wells but stacking all this together i mean oh yeah that's like 15 pounds of sockets or something so that was, uh, I guess that was the whole point of what I was doing here, is you don't have to spend a ton of money to really have just everything. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And uh, I will work, I am going to work on getting the cat in more videos. Many times I don't like handling, you know, I'm handling oily sockets. I don't want to get this oil on my cat at all. Um, anyway, if you haven't subscribed please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.